Hi guys, Sean here at Go Big Go Go Home. What you're looking at here is a Magnum Research BFR chambered in 475 line ball, which is also capable of shooting the 480 Ruger cartridge. Now, this was replacing the Ruger Bisley that I had in 480 Ruger. Uh, it's five shots, just like the 480 Ruger was. And uh, I got this specifically because, you know, if you wanted to shoot a 480 Ruger, you really needed to go to Ruger. Um, or you needed to get a 475 line ball. The other options beyond getting a custom 475 line ball made were the BFR and the uh, Freedom Arms Model 83. So very much like my JRH cartridge, if you wanted a 50 caliber, it was Freedom Arms or Magnum Research. Uh, to me, Magnum Research, you know, clearly it's a little less expensive, but I also think you get more bang for the buck. Now, no question about it, if you want the most refined revolver on the planet, it's hard to beat Freedom Arms. Um, but just a couple things also about this one is it's got pretty much all of the new features. Now, if you guys remember, there was a different grip. They used to have one made by Uncle Mike's that was on my 500 JRH. That's what it came with. This is made by Hogue. Um, it's got the eagle on it, though, because this is made specifically for Magnum Research. Now, what's really cool about it, too, is if you can see here, uh, it's a little bit elongated. So it actually gives you a little extra grip, which I kind of like, you know, it gives you, it's a little longer than your standard, like say, you know, Ruger Super Blackhawk grip. Uh, the only downside is it no longer has a shield against your trigger guard. And I found out on my first day uh, at the range, and I'll put up a picture of it here. You can see, you know, you can bruise your finger really bad. And it really, it really hurt. So you've got to be really careful there. Um, but a couple other things, it's got this new hammer. This is the new hammer that they have. Um, they went away from the Super Blackhawk style where it was a wide spur. As you can see, they've gone uh, with a much thinner style. Um, it is serrated, so it's nice and easy to grab. Uh, some people don't like it. I actually like it just fine. Um, but they, they first had one that was going at this weird funky angle. Now it's, you know, it's going at this angle, which is much nicer. This was a direct result of them listening to um, the customers. Uh, you know, it only took them months to react and rather than telling the customers that they need to eat the new hammer and like it, uh, they redesigned it with customer input. So, fantastic. It also has this new rear sight. It's a really nice target sight. I'll kind of show you guys here. It's got this big black serrated kind of view. It's really nice when you're target shooting with it. Um, it's made by LPA. I'm going to see if I can get that up there so you can see it. Um, it's very easy to adjust. And it's really nice. So that's kind of the, the new features that we have is we've got the new grip, the new hammer, and the new sight. Um, other than that, you know, it's, it's typical single action fare. Um, just like the, um, what do you call it, the 500JRH, it's, you know, it's got the, the secured base pin. Uh, it has no button here. Again, just to keep the strong, you know, keep the frame stronger. That's, that's what they say on their website. Whether or not it really makes the frame stronger, um, sure. It's got a six and a half inch barrel, and the way that they actually measure the barrel length here is from the front of the frame forward, so it doesn't include the forcing cone. If we include the forcing cone, this is actually a seven inch barrel. Everything else, again, it just works just like the other BFRs. You know, you have your loading gate that's designed with a transfer bar safety system. It's got the free spin paw. Uh, what's really nice, of course, is you can chamber 475 line ball or 480 Ruger. I gotta be honest, after shooting the 475 line ball, the stories of it being uh, a worse recoil than the 500 line ball, I believe it. Uh, I haven't fired a 500 line ball, but I have fired my 500 JRH loaded to spec. And I can tell you that the 500 JRH is quite a lot of recoil, and this is right up there with it, if not worse. Um, this thing can really take off, um, you know, as far as the muzzle coming backwards. It really will kick pretty hard. Um, it's a five shot cylinder. I think I said that earlier. It's all stainless steel, unfluted. Um, I like unfluted cylinders. Believe it or not, the precision center actually will get you a fluted cylinder if you want. If you, they, if you pay for it, they'll do it for you. Uh, one of the new things they're doing also is they have now have a Bisley style grip. I have contemplated uh, sending it in. I will tell you if I buy another BFR, I'm going to buy it from the factory with that, with that Bisley grip personally. The, uh, the other thing you can do is uh, Jack Huntington does a grip modification. And that is about the same price. A little more money, but Jack Huntington will fit it to your hand. He has you draw an outline of your hand, and then you actually will send that in when you send the gun in for work. Now, overall quality is very good. 
Um, it's about what I expect from Magnum Research on their BFRs. Uh, there's some scratches here from me trying to get the pins loose when I was cleaning. That's not their fault, that's my fault. So if you see that, no, it's that, it didn't come that way. A um, couple things though that I was a little disappointed I'm gonna show in, and that is, if you look here, you can see there's still some rough edges right here on the back of the frame. Not big enough to make a complaint or even ask them to warranty it, but uh, clearly somebody kicked off early for the day because that didn't get done. Again, not a big deal. I'm not gonna send it back or raise hell about it, but it could have been done right. Now, nobody's behind the camera, by the way. If you look at the barrel, you can kind of notice, let's see if I can, Try, there, come on, focus on the barrel. There we go. The barrel, uh, the ring around the muzzle is still also looks a little unfinished. Again, I don't think it's enough to affect accuracy, but if you look at it, you can see where it's not as polished as the outer rim. So, um, Magnum Research, if you're watching, uh, guys, watch that. <laughs> um, again, not enough for me to really raise hell about or send it in. Um, ironically, when I did get this revolver, it did have an initial problem. And uh, at first I thought it might just be me, I took it to the range, but what was happening is the cylinder stopped down here, um, or the, uh, the latch, I think sometimes it's called, it wouldn't lock if this, if this gate had been open for an extended period of time. So, you know, when I'm at the range, if they, uh, they tell us, you know, everybody's going to go change targets, you have to leave your cylinder uh, latch open to show it's unloaded. I would come back and I would snap it shut and it would just spin free. It wouldn't stop and lock into place like it's supposed to. Um, and again, I want to give credit where credit's due. I called up Magnum Research and I said, hey, I'm having this problem. Is this something I can fix on my own? Is this normal? Will it wear in? And the guy said, you know, I've not heard of that happening. Let me talk to the gunsmith. Put me on hold. He came back and he said, okay, that's something that's a problem, but it is something we can fix. My gunsmith feels very confident that he can fix it pretty quickly. Uh, please go on our website. Here's where you need to go and we'll get you an RMA number. Sure enough, I did that. I got my RMA, sent it off. And I, I really expected about four to six weeks. That's usually pretty common. And they got it back to me in I think three weeks or just under. And ever since then, I've had zero problems with the latch. It has worked exactly like it should. Um, and the function of the gun has been flawless. Anyway, that's about all I've got for you on this one. We'll do some videos too of shooting it. I will tell you shooting 480 Ruger out of this is definitely a noticeable drop in recoil from the 475 line ball. Um, and it's a lot of fun. It is really accurate. Um, before we go, I'll put up a little picture I've got of uh, a five shot group. I have one flyer, unfortunately, but four shots, I mean, are so close at 11 yards that uh, I'll put it this way, you know, as is typical from, you know, with my experience with any BFR, if it's not accurate, it's not the gun, it's you. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll show this in the videos coming and we'll, we'll show what it can do. I uh, hope you guys find it interesting. And if you're looking for a big bore revolver, really consider the BFRs. I've really been happy with the performance they've had, their reliability, their overall fit and finish has been excellent. Uh, you know, a couple minor things aside. And uh, when I have had an issue, uh, the folks at Magnum Research have been really good about just stepping up to the plate and getting it fixed. So thanks very much for your time. We'll show you that picture on the way out. And remember, go big bore or go home.